Hello, friends and neighbors. My name is Peyton Corbett, and I'm a candidate for mayor here in Somerville. I've lived in the city since 2004, and I've been a resident of Ward 1 for the last 10 years, where I live with my wife, Jenny. I'm currently an elected officer of Teamsters Local 122, where I serve as a trustee on our executive board. I'm also a shop steward in my workplace, as well as a longtime union and community activist. Now, the position of a union representative is a position of service service to your members and to the greater community as a whole. At our best, labor unions seek to enrich the lives of working people, not just our members, but of all workers. The late great labor leader, civil rights activist, A. Philip Randolph said it best, the essence of trade unionism is social uplift. That's what I believe public office should be about as well. That's what I believe the position of mayor should be. It should be about empowering the citizens of your community. It's about listening to the residents, to the business owners, and to the city employees, and working together with them to achieve a common goal. That works for everyone, not just a select few. It should not be about one's own personal legacy or future political aspirations. It should not be about headlines and hashtags or news conferences and sound bites. The people of this city are facing some of the toughest issues we have seen in decades, from ever-increasing income inequality to skyrocketing rents and home prices, unsustainable burdens on working families and seniors, a city workforce whose morale is at an all-time low because of an administration that refuses to treat them with the dignity and respect they deserve. We've got developers who are displacing longtime residents and small businesses alike. We have city government that's unaccountable and non-transparent. How has our mayor been addressing these issues? By posting daily on social media about the Trump administration and other national issues. Make no mistake, I am not a fan of, president, of the president or his agenda whatsoever. However, we can't control what's happening in Washington. We can control the things that go on in this city. Here is what I will do as mayor to address these issues. We need more affordable housing. But how do we get it? By building affordable housing, not by building luxury housing and simply waiting for the scraps that they throw us. There are communities all over this country who have found innovative and progressive ways to deal with the housing crisis. We need to look at those models and find how to make it work here. We can find developers, investors, and nonprofits who want to be good partners with this community. Now, when I talk about affordable housing, I'm not just referring to low income. I mean moderate income housing as well. There are thousands of people and families here who make too much money to qualify for low income housing, but not nearly enough to afford something at the increasing, the constantly increasing market rates. We can't let Somerville become a city of just rich people and poor people, with the rich far outnumbering everyone else. That is the path we are on, and we need to change that. I will work on tax relief for everyone, but first and foremost for our seniors who are living on fixed incomes and cannot keep up with the climbing tax rates. Are there programs in place already? Yes. Is it enough? No. Can we do better? Absolutely. We also need tax breaks for benevolent landlords who want to help families and working people stay in this city by charging under market rates. But they're also up against increasing tax burdens. We can help relieve some of those burdens by demanding more in community benefits from big corporations and so-called nonprofits who do business here. I'm looking at you, Tufts University. Many of our hardest working employees like our first responders and dispatchers, our SMEA employees, and so many others, have had to fight this administration tooth and nail over the last decade just for fair compensation of their labor. Presently, five out of six of our municipal unions are without collective bargaining agreements. Many are being paid 12 to 16% below other comparable cities in the state. Meanwhile, the mayor and his appointees have received hefty raises year after year. In 2008, in 2008, 
the mayor's salary was $125,000. In the 2018 budget, it will be $180,000. That's $55,000 over 10 years. If the city claims they can only afford to give the union employees 1%, then managers, appointees, and the mayor should only be getting 1% as well. The truth is, the city can afford to pay our hardworking, unionized employees more, and they deserve it. We need transparency and accountability at City Hall. I will work with the Board of Aldermen and community members and find ways to actually remove some of the powers of the mayor and give them to the Board of Aldermen and to the citizens of Somerville. This will probably require a change to our city's charter. And if that is the will of the people, then I will push for that charter reform. I will work to change our campaign finance regulations so that people associated with developers doing work in Somerville can no longer donate huge sums of money to fund politicians' re-election re campaigns. As a candidate for mayor, I have taken a pledge not to accept any campaign donations from those associated with developers working in the city. I call on every candidate in this election to do the same. Will you take that pledge, Mayor Curtitoni? In closing, I'd like to thank you for tuning in and for your time. I ask for your vote on September 19th and again on November 7th. 7th. Let's make Somerville a city that works for everyone, not just a select few. Thank you. Please look me up on Facebook at Peyton for Somerville at Facebook and look for my website, which will be dropping soon.